Hi, I'm Matt Bissonnette, and this is Bissonnette Leadership Services. And today I want to talk with you a little bit about leadership, specifically around self-leadership. So I'm going to walk through uh, some information about it, but let me first back up and say uh, at Bissonnette Leadership Services, I believe there are three arenas of leadership, self-leadership, team leadership, and organizational leadership. And they all work together to move an organization or a person forward. Now, self-leadership, I believe, is the foundation of all leadership. So as we walk through this, remember that there's multiple arenas and they all have to work together. <clears throat> so self-leadership is leading you. How do you lead yourself? It's the foundation of all other leadership. So self-leadership really is growing on the inside. How do you deal with your insides? Who are you the person on the inside? Can you lead yourself? Because if you can do the things on the inside, it will begin to reflect on the outside of who you are. The people you lead will see this and that will gain influence because that's what leadership is about, influence. Can you influence other people? So self-leadership starts on the inside. And, and as influence, it deals with the whole leader. So you only have one life. We have many roles to lead in our life. Sometimes it's parents, sometimes it's dad, sometimes it's a uh, you know, worker, sometimes it's coworkers, sometimes it's a player on a team. We only have one life. So all of those experiences come together. They all come together to make up who we are. And who we are plays out in how we uh, channel it and pr produce it on the inside of ourselves, right? So, and the, the choices and the consequences that we have in our life, life's nothing more than a series of choices. Paper, plastic, Chevy or Ford, Pepsi or Coke, you make choices. Some choices are more difficult. Do you get married? Do you get divorced? Do you have kids? Do you move? Do you do, you do whatever, right? And those choices have consequences. Those consequences have effects on your life moving along the, down the road, right? So self-leadership is how do you make meaning out of all of that stuff that becomes your one life? So when you're in leadership, you have to be able to compartmentalize that on some levels, but also process through it and bring out what you've learned through all those different arenas to lead the people around you. So you only have one life and you bring it all together. Now there's a couple of guys, Dr. James Luozma and Dr. Mark McCloskey. These two guys got together and they wrote a book called Transformational Leadership. It's a fantastic book. It's really about leading differently. So there's transactional leadership, you do something, you want someone else to work with you. When you're done, you're done. Transformational leadership is when two people work together and through that interaction, they begin to have a relationship. And when they're done, they're both better for having worked with each other. That's the foundation of transformational leadership. So in that model, these two doctors, they describe a thing called dice plus one. It's their model and they came up with it, but I love it because it really describes that internal part of a person that you have to process through all that stuff. So dice plus one really is D, dynamic determination. I, intellectual flexibility. C, character logical soundness. E, emotional well-being. And plus one is the collaborative quotient. So I'm going to walk through each one of those five areas and talk more about what they are, how they work, and how that really plays into self-leadership. Again, this is from Dr. James Lozma and Dr. Mark McCloskey and their book, Transformational Leadership. All right, so the first area, dy dynamic determination. Now, dynamic determination is really about having persistence through obstacles, having the dogged pursuit of goals, dynamic determination. You are not going to quit. You're not going to give up. You have that thing in your gut that just says, I am going to keep going. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to fight through these obstacles to get to the other side. It is about getting through the issues, getting to the end, getting to the goal. It's about keeping on, keeping on. Dynamic determination. Now, we'll balance that out, but I want you to understand D is for driving forward. Dynamic determination. That's the first part of dice plus one. The I is intellectual flexibility. It's about seeing the whole with the many parts and, and knowing how you fit into the world. So this is where, do you have the capacity to intellectually be flexible about what you think you know? So in the world right now, there's lots of ideologies being thrown around. It's this way or it's that way. But can you really 
Can you really keep what you believe on one side and listen intently to what somebody else has to say and then talk about what it might be and learn and listen and, and intellectually be flexible about what you think you know? At the end, you can always walk away and keep believing what you believe. But what if through this process of being intellectually flexible, you actually learn something new? That's what intellectually flexibility is all about. It's about trying to think about new ways. What can you learn? What can you do differently? Because as a leader, you have to be able to do that inside of yourself, to process, to grow, to move forward, to lead the people around you. Influence comes out of what you say and do. So you have to input different ideas to process through for new things to come out. So intellectual flexibility is the I in dice plus one. The next area is characterological soundness. I know it's a big word, characterological soundness. It's about character. It's about having sound character. It's about being a person of substance. It's about having integrity. It's about having truth and honesty as part of who you are as a person and using that as a framework for your relationships. So if you can be a true person to who you are and be in relationship with other people because you have this character, this integrity, this honesty, it's the capacity for congruency. Congruency is where what you feel and see and do and be on the inside is consistent with what you say and do and act on the outside. So having solid character is the C of dice plus one. It's an important piece of self-leadership. The E of dice plus one, emotional well-being. This is about not, not, not having your emotions. It about is having your emotions, but it's about understanding where they come from. It's about being able to process through them and make meaning out of all the experiences in your life. And it really comes back to, do you have a solid sense of worth on the inside? Do you have acceptance and worth from within? Not trying to get likes and positives and accolades from people around you to make yourself feel better. Self-leadership requires that you can find something inside of yourself to lift you up and keep you going, to be emotionally well, having your emotions, processing your emotions, feeling your emotions, and being able to work through challenges from your past so that they don't come out sideways, right? Because if you can do that, then you'll also be able to sustain an emotional climate in the organization. So have you ever worked for a boss where you go, oh my gosh, so-and-so is walking on, is, uh, is having a tirade today. So everybody's walking on eggshells, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the emotion of the leader shouldn't set the tone and pace for the organization. You should be uh, the person who is allowing people to move forward. You shouldn't be the problem in the organization. So this is where you being able to process your emotions and projecting a positive, optimistic forward move, movement for the organization is helpful. It's positive. It doesn't mean bad things don't happen. Even in disasters and catastrophes, you can still be positive and optimistic and process through your emotions and move forward. So emotional well-being comes from within inside you, reflects outward from you. It's the E in dice plus one. So the plus one, the collaborative quotient. This is the ability to grow and sustain collaborative partnerships. Can you work with other people? If you can't work with other people, then leadership is not gonna work out well for you. Dice plus one is about having all these characteristics and the ability to work with other people, plus one. And you have to be able to do this not just once off, you have to be able to do this consistently across time and situations. Positive situations, negative situations, employee, boss, coworker, you have to be able to work with other people. That's what leadership is. Leadership is the people business. It's the leading people business. It's about having influence over people. So being able to work with people is positive. And you have to be able to figure out how to do that by putting aside your past, bringing the best parts forward with you in a dice plus one model. Okay, so that's dice plus one. Now, as you're working through dice plus and you're moving forward, there is this thing called the dark side of leadership. It's where the past and the present begin to overlap, right? So you're moving along today, but the past comes with you. It's the dark side, the things that the things that's happened to you. It's the baggage that you've carried with you. There's an author, Dr. Sam Rima, wrote a book called Overcoming the Dark Side of Leadership. And he talks about how leaders can actually overcome the dark side. So he describes the dark side of leadership as an ongoing pattern of behavior 
exhibited by a leader that results in an overall negative organizational outcomes based on the interactions between the leader, follower, and the environment. It's an ongoing pattern, behavior exhibited by the leader, right? So that's the dark side. So this is about behaviors, this is about attitudes, this is about what you're doing, and it happens all the time. So this is ingrained things that these leaders are doing, right? So if you're having challenges at work, you got to st take a step back and say, have I resolved my baggage? How am I doing on my dice plus one? Have I dealt with the dark side of leadership? Because it will come back to, to haunt you, so to speak. So one of the things you can do is you can unintentionally unpack your baggage. And we, we talk about baggage, like, you know, you got a suitcase or something. So, so whatever you have in your past, you got to find a way to put it down, right? Whether you have to go talk to a therapist or a counselor, do some time, do some therapy. There's nothing wrong with therapy. It's good for you. It helps you get that stuff out so you can move forward. So think of it this way, right? If you were walking down the street and you're wearing a backpack and someone throws a handful of dog poop at you, are you going to stop and pick it up and throw it in your backpack? No, you're going to scrape it off and keep going, right? So why on earth do we do that today when people throw their emotional and verbal dog poop at us, right? And our days, and we internalize it. We stick it in our backpack. You got to unpack that. No matter who threw it at you, no matter what they threw at you, find a way to dump it out and move forward, right? And you don't need a big backpack. You just need a fanny pack, right? So don't pick it up any dog poop. Just move forward, right? So that's where you have to find the now, the right now in your journey. To overcome the dark side, you have to find the now in your journey. It's about what you're experiencing now, new emotions, new feelings, new processes, new journeys. It's all new today, right? So live in the now, right now. Bring the best of the past with you, but let the baggage go, right? And as you're moving forward, take time to reflect. Reflect on what happened today. What was thrown at me? Did I put it down okay? Have I not put it down? And then mentally process that to put it down, right? Practice some introspection. Where am I at? That's part of the process of overcoming the dark side is being able to think, process, and move forward. Live in the now each day because each day is a new day to move forward. So Warren Bennis, I'll leave you with a quote here. Warren Bennis said, the process of becoming a leader is much the same as becoming an integrated human being. This is where when you've been, in, been able to integrate your pieces, when you've been able to make meaning of your past and bring it together, right? This is what helps you become a better leader and becoming a better leader is about processing. So I want you to focus on your self-leadership using dice plus one as a model. It's fantastic. It will help you grow forward and you will be a better leader forward. So keep growing forward, hang in there.